So I am creating this video series because I was just recently last week diagnosed with alopecia areata. I don't know if it's, I'm saying it right, but that is how, what, how I think you say it. I found this out because literally a couple of weeks ago, my twin sister, we were, I was at her house for the week and she had said, you have a bald spot in the back of your head. I'm like, no, I don't. That's just the way my hair lays because on the right side, I've always had kind of a wider part, I would say towards the back. And I was like, that's just the way my hair lays. So I completely blew it off and ignored her. And then a week later, my daughter, who's eight, notices everything, calls out everything, had also told me my eyebrows were looking really patchy and they're filled in right now, so you can't really tell. And she had said, mom, you have a huge bald spot in the back of your head. And I was like, what? No, I don't. A couple of days went by and then I finally looked in the back of my head with a mirror. And sure enough, I have about a golf ball size bald spot in the back of my head. It's actually even larger now. I'm not sure how well you can see it, I will actually turn around and show you guys. It has been, I don't even know how to summarize it into words, the kind of experience that it's been for me so far. Um, terrifying, horrifying, really sad. I don't, I don't even know. Like I'm still processing all of it. And prior to this, um, I was struggling a little bit with cortisol issues and hormonal imbalance. And just, so I had a Dutch test done, which is one of the most comprehensive tests you can have done for your hormones and um, stress level and, and um, all sorts of things like that, because I had just been feeling off now for probably a couple of years. I'm getting into my late thirties. My body just isn't reacting to my healthy lifestyle that I've always had working out regularly, eating fairly healthy. And I was, have been able to maintain my weight. I lost about 40 pounds um, almost 10 years ago now. And I've been able to maintain my weight fairly easily for most of that up until the past couple of years. It's been a little bit more of a battle. I gained a couple pounds, not much, but my body composition has just shifted. I have a little bit more fat around my midsection now. Um, and my muscle tone has decreased too. And in addition to just struggling a lot with sleep and brain fog and a lot of different other issues, I went to see um, a holistic functional medicine doctor not too long ago. We did a Dutch test and my levels came back. You can see that my progesterone progesterone is extremely low and my cortisol is absolutely through the roof um, among some other things that were just a bit off on my results. So I knew that something was just not right. Um, so we were already doing some work to fix those things. And then of course I find this bald spot and now find out that I have alopecia areata. I went to a dermatologist that can, they confirmed that to be completely honest. I wouldn't say I knew that I had it, but I knew something was up because several years ago, I lost a bunch of hair too. Um, I lost some right after my daughter as most people do postpartum, but then like it just kept happening for me. Like I just kept losing chunks of hair. And I don't know, I've definitely, definitely never had a bald spot like I had now, but I would notice because I straightened my hair, I would section it off and I'd have chunks of like regrowth, which is amazing because it means that I was my hair was growing back. But I was like, huh, when did I lose that? And periodically I have lost chunks of my eyebrows as well as my eyelashes are very, very sparse right now. Um, you can probably kind of tell, maybe not so much, but I have very full lashes when like everything is working right. And right now I have like probably 10 on each eye and I have like the smallest bit of mascara on them right now because I'm trying to preserve what I have. So I kind of knew something was a little bit up because that had been happening. My eyelashes, I, I track it in my phone and my notes. I have been seeing that I lose some and then I have then they're fine. Then I lose them again. And that's been going on now for a couple of years too. So I knew something was up. Like I said, I've been losing hair for kind of off and on throughout the years. I just never really had a reason to look into it. Like I did now because I have this huge bald spot in the back of my head. It's also starting on the right side back of my head. And this one is currently getting larger. So this is just the beginning of my journey. Um, but my page is called healthy and empowered for a reason, because I truly believe that we are never stuck. We are never in a place where we can't continuously do something. And when I tell you guys that like truly what helps pull me out of that is knowing that there's always something we can do. There's always something we can research, we can figure out and, and just believing, believing we will get through it, believing however that, whatever that looks like on the other side of it, there is something better for us. And this is a growth opportunity. So, and it's just so funny. I was thinking about this this morning. Like we think we have these huge problems. Like I thought my weight was a huge problem. I thought, you know, not being able to sleep was a huge problem. And now I'm like, you're literally losing your hair. None of that even matters anymore. Like I'm literally not even focusing my attention on that anymore. Yes, the sleep, because that impacts everything else. But like now it's how do I keep the hair that I have and regrow the hair that I have? Because this is like so much more pressing than those things. So what I'm going to share what I'm doing now to hopefully regrow some of my hair. I know it's going to take months, um, but you know what? I'm trying all the things and most of the, most of what I the ideas I've gotten have come from YouTube or TikTok. So thank you, social media and Facebook groups that I am in. So the number one thing I am doing is I've gone to the AIP diet. And what that is, is autoimmune pro protocol. 
And pretty much it is cutting out literally every single thing that could be inflammatory for your body. Because alopecia areata, what is happening is your body is literally, your immune system is attacking your, yourself. It is attacking your hair follicles and that is why your hair is falling out. So you are removing anything that could activate your immune system. So anything inflammatory. So literally your diet consists of the cleanest, organic, best uh, meats that you can eat. So you can have like beef, you can have chicken, you can have turkey, anything like that, no eggs. Um, so you can eat very, very clean sources of meats. You can eat healthy fats, um, avocado, coconut, olives, olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, ghee, um, no nuts, no seeds, which is very bit hard for me because I ate a lot of nuts and seeds, which may have been contributing to some of my problems. And the third thing is you can have fruits and vegetables. Ideally, you want to kind of stay on the lower glycemic end so you are not... Um, raising your blood sugar constantly. So like you wouldn't want to be eating just straight fruit all day, although you can eat fruit, but it's fruits, vegetables, your cleanest protein sources, organic as much as possible, antibiotic free as much as possible, and then your healthy fats. So literally my day is looking very different than it did before, but AIP diet is number one. I went right to that because I know when I had some thyroid issues several years back, that is what I was, um, it was recommended to me. So I knew right away to go because it was consideration, it was autoimmune. And you write right away to go to that. Number two, as I am cleaning up all of the kind of things around me that weren't like clean products before them, putting in my body, my skin, my hair. So I just bought a new shampoo and conditioner. Have not even used it yet. It's called Camel Glow. Was recommended on TikTok. TikTok um, for people who were struggling with something similar to myself. So I'm gonna be trying that. I got some essential oils to mix together and put on the spot in the back of my head, as well as my roots, which are um, thinning out as well. Uh, it's rosemary oil, castor oil. Um, tea tree oil. There's probably something else in it that I'm forgetting. So I'm going to be rubbing that into, into my scalp as well as making a spray with witch hazel and a couple other oils. So I'm trying all the things. Of course, it was recommended to me by the dermatologist to get a cortisone shot and get a topical cre treatment. Those are all chemicals and um, or a steroid that is suppressing your immune system. I didn't want to go that as my first route. I am a holistic health coach. So of course, anything that I can do to heal myself holistically, I am going to go for first. So if there's anything else that I'm adding to my routine, I will do an updated video. For this mic list, because this is so big and I forgot to share something else I'm doing. Stress reduction, stress reduction, stress reduction. Autoimmune conditions, especially alopecia areata, are many times triggered by a, either a traumatic or stressful situation. So for me, I don't know exactly what that was. It probably was also had to do with my, my hormones and my cortisol being so high. However, stress reduction is so big for improving this condition and not making it worse. So that is something else I'm focusing on so much. The main things that I'm doing is number one, like deciding that I'm going to make my thinking less stressful about the situations happening around, happening around me. I have a daughter with behavioral disorder. She has a uh, oppositional defiance disorder, ODD. And I think that was something I was really, really stressing myself out about. I was always feeling very anxious, on edge, super stressed out about that. And now I have to just take a step back and just breathe every single time something happens and decide, okay, I'm gonna handle this differently. I am not gonna stress myself out about this because I, I definitely think that that has contributed to, to what's going on right now. The other thing I'm doing is I'm walking a ton. I'm walking a ton, sometimes unplugged, sometimes doing what I heard called gratitude walks. You think about things that you were truly grateful for. I'm doing a lot of deep breathing. Um, I, a lot of like nervous system regulation exercises. Um, every night I'm listening to a meditation. So I have added a ton of just different things into my daily routine to help regulate my nervous system and help reduce stress is a big one, probably just as important as the diet is intentionally every single day focusing on things that chill me out more than like rev me up and get me super stressed out because we all op should be operating on a cycle where stress isn't a bad thing but when we're chronically stressed that is a bad thing and that I I was in a place of just chronic fight or flight um have been working on building a business too businesses so that too just the way I was thinking about all of that was really stressing me out in addition to probably some of these other issues the nutrition my hormones and everything else now I have to just take a step back, do a lot of breathing, and just think about how I want to think and react to all sorts of situations. And really focusing on how can I improve my sleep. My sleep was a mess because of my hormones, so I've been testing out some different supplements. Like I mentioned, the magnesium and the GABA are really helpful for me. I take them after dinner. They truly do help with my sleep, as well as just testing out some different things. Um, timing of eating, like if I need to have someone I was working with, I'd recommend having a very small snack before bed because I was waking up at like that one, three o'clock in the morning. Um, also getting my phone shut off using blue light glasses during the day. I should have them on right now, but I don't. Cutting my caffeine off at a certain point and just paying attention if I have caffeine later in the day, is that impact impacting a little bit more? 
more, but just how else can I clean up like my sleep hygiene and read a couple pages before bed. And then like I said, I do that visualization meditation before bed too. So I have been noticing those things do make a really big difference, but just doing as much as I can, what can focusing on what I can control and what I can do, to improve both my sleep and my stress reduction. I'm also, I regularly take magnesium every day. I take vitamin D because I know that's really important, but I am also taking some supplements for my hormones as well. So I'm just hoping that this whole holistic package that I am kind of putting into place um, is gonna be really helpful for me. I'm also taking a really good probiotic. So I'm hoping that all of those things together will really help me with this hair growth. But every time, anytime I see progress or anything like that, I will make an update um, to the channel and I'll just kind of share as I'm going along. If it, it, it's a struggle, like it's a struggle. So anyone else who's dealing with this or any other kind of condition of any sort or anything else, just know it, it's supposed to be like, it's part, it's part of the 50, 50 of life. Um, and, but we can't get through it and it's, it's a struggle. And really what causes suffering is our thinking about what we're already going through. So it's like, if I'm having a hard time, but then I'm having negative thoughts about having a hard time, we just got to let ourselves be in it. We got to feel it and then just focus on okay, and what, and what's next. And that is what I'm trying to do every single day. Um, because you know, when I wake up, when I go to brush my hair, when I go straighten my hair, when I go to my, wash my hair, like I literally just want to cry. But I also know that there's another side to this. this. This won't be my struggle forever. And if it is, it's going to look different because I'm going to make the best out of it that I can. That's all I can say right now. Um, so, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll just continue to make updates on my journey and see how it goes.